What's up, you festive yogis? You're in the machine. This is holiday yoga. What makes it holiday yoga? Well, other than the dumb outfit, it's just that we're doing it during the holidays. But it's quick and easy, so you can squeeze it in with all your cooking and shopping and traveling and whatever else you have to do. We're going to be down on the mat the whole time, mainly themed with cat-cow type movements. Let's do it. Okay, let's meet up in the middle of the mat in a super festive Christmas table. Hands down below the shoulders, hips up above the knees, feet out flat behind. Let's engage the midsection and appreciate how long I had to search to find holiday tights in my size. From here, exhale, cat, tuck the tailbone. Drop the head, separate the shoulder blades, inhale cow, lift the tailbone, pull the shoulders back, lead with the chest and the chin, a few cats and cows just to get the ball rolling here. Exhale on your cat, tucking the tailbone, push, push, push away from the mat, middle of the back, pulling straight up toward the ceiling. Inhale, cow. That's going to be the whole theme here. So if you can round and arch your spine, you can do all this. I guarantee it. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Just a couple more. Exhaling, cat. Push away. And then inhale, cow. Should probably call the cow a reindeer, but it's, it's the same thing. Exhale, cat. And let's find ourselves back with a neutral spine. Shoulder blades back off of the ears. Looking straight down at the mat. We're gonna put our toes together, drive back for a quick child's pose. Hands go forward, head goes down. Let your back be rounded here. Forehead to the mat. Couple of breaths. And that will come up about halfway and thread the needle. Left hand is going to go under the right. Drop your head down and reach your right hand forward. So you're making like the shape of an L. And then turn it down for the shoulder action. So if I keep lifting like this, it's a good stretch in the spine. But if I turn it down, it stretches both shoulders. The outside of the left and the inside of the right. Remembering to breathe as we back out and switch it out. Left hand a little bit forward. Right hand reaches to thread under. Shoulder goes down, head goes down. Left hand reaches up, so we got this backwards L. And then if I turn and look up under my armpit, I have a spinal twist. But if I look down, almost like I'm looking to the right, I have shoulder stretches. Remembering to breathe nice and easy. When you're even on both sides, let's come back to the tabletop and lift the hips for like a little pea and reindeer, okay? So we're gonna shift our weight to the left, lift the right leg as high as we can, keeping the knee bent at like a 90 degree. And then if you need to come up off of those right fingertips to get as much height as possible, go for it. We're just trying to engage the glute and lift that right leg, a little stretch of the adductors maybe. Set it down, switch it to the other side, weight goes to the right. Shift to the right, lifting the left leg like that wizened reindeer. If you need to come up on those fingertips and drive into the right shoulder, that's fine. Keep lifting 90 degrees at the knee. Might even start to feel kind of a cramp in your glute and that's when we'll set it down. Back to this tabletop. We're gonna swing the right leg out directly to the side of us, straighten the leg, flatten the foot on the mat, and we're gonna return to the cats and cows. Inhale, cow style. That should really stretch this adductor because of the way it's turning your pelvis. And then exhale, cow. 
That should alleviate it. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. This is a great stretch for those adductors because it works them as we cat and it relaxes them as we cat. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring that foot forward. Frame it up. Lunge down, stretching the back so as, as we lift up cow style. You're not going to get that much movement in it because we're sort of stuck on the leg, but still imagine the same idea, tailbone up, chest forward. Now we're going to straighten it cat style. It might go straight, it might not, it doesn't matter. Just push back, lift the toes, and round. There's your cat. Inhale forward to the low lunge, lifting the chest, cow. Exhale back, straightening the leg, rounding the spine, cat. Inhale forward, cow style. Exhale back, straightening the leg, rounding over. Maybe it goes straight, maybe it doesn't. Who cares? One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Toes up, rounding over the leg. Back forward, let's plant the left and push a little bit out on the right knee with the right palm. And we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna lift up, arching cow style, and I'm gonna leave the press and pull back, rounding cat style. Back forward, push, lifting cow style, just a slight arch of the back, and then back, rounding, Cat style. So I keep the hand on the knee, but I'm not driving it that far. One more inhale. Press. Exhale back. Cat. Hand down. Swinging the leg back to the tabletop. Let's do that on the other side. Left leg out straight. Foot is flat. Leg is straight. Hands are down. You can plant the palms or come up on the fingertips, whatever works. But remember, when we inhale, arching the back like the cow stretches the heck out of that adductor. And when we exhale, rounding the back, it releases it like the cat. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Tucking the tailbone, separating the scapula. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Should be stretching and then releasing that adductor. Inhale, arch. Let's do one more. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Lead with the chest. Exhale, round. And let's bring that foot around. We'll frame it with both hands. Same idea. I'm going to drop into the lunge. Lift the chest, cow style. It's not a big arch, but it's the same sensation. And then exhale, straighten the leg, or nearly straighten the leg. Lift the toes, round it, cat style. Forward, drop into the lunge, still stretching the back, so as lift the chest, cow style. Exhale, lift the toes, straighten the leg as much as you can. You don't have to bend all the way over. Inhale, cow style. Exhale, cat style. Inhale, cow. And let's plant the right hand. Turn the left toes out. Push on the left knee with the left palm. This will be the arching like the cow. And we're going to exhale, pulling the hips back rounding like the cat. So we keep the palm in place, but we're not driving the knee down here. Inhale forward, push on that knee, stretching that piriformis on the outside, so as on the inside. Lead with the chest, arching the back. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Rounding one more. Inhale. Exhale. 
We'll go back to table and do that a few times through with just less reps and a little more speed. So from our tabletop, and we're gonna side kick that right foot out. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Bring it over. Drop to the lunge. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Forward plant the left. Press with the right. Inhale. Exhale. And other side. Back to the tabletop. Left leg out. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Bring it in front. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Plant the right. Inhale as you press and lead with the chest. Exhale, back. Rounding the spine. One more from tabletop. Get stable, engage the core, and right foot out. Inhale up. Exhale back. Bring it to the front. Inhale forward. Exhale, straighten and round. Inhale, plant and press. Exhale back, rounding the spine. Other side. Find your tabletop. Left leg out. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Bring that foot to the front. Inhale, low. Exhale, back. Plant the right palm. Press and inhale, up. Exhale, back. Returning to our tabletop. We'll engage the core for just a second and then we'll have a seat and do some more stretches. So put everything tight, zip it up, bring the ribs in. Left leg back, right arm forward. One straight line, like a leaping reindeer. Left foot back toward the buns and then reach. Reach the right hand back. If you can't find the grip, that's fine. If you can, get toes, foot, or ankle and then kick up. Big back bend, lead with the chest. Kick the heel up as you drive that foot or ankle or shin into your palm for three. Two, one, switching it out. Right leg back, try to keep the hips square when you do this, don't roll them. Left hand forward. Remembering to breathe. Try to keep your shoulders out of your ears here. Keep everything engaged, including the core. Right heel to the buns, reach back left, find a grip. If you can't get the grip, just point toward it. If you can, toes or ankle or foot or shin, and then kick as you lead with the chest in the front and drive the back foot straight to the sky. Huge force back bend. Nice stretch on the shoulder for three, two, one. Do a little U-turn opposite direction with the spine, toes together, knees out. Rounding child's pose. Catch your breath. Regulate your breath. From here, palms back. Curl the toes. Lift the knees, a little floating table. And from here, we're gonna try that same cat-cow movement. So, leave the knees off the mat. Arch and lift the chest as best you can. Leave the knees where they are and then round. One more time. The quads are probably firing up, that's good. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. We're gonna come right to a yogi squat any way you want. So I'm gonna hop up nice and light. Toes out. Heels in. Go as low as you, as you can without having your heels and your hips off the mat. It's okay if your heels are still up and it's okay if you're flat with hips up. Eventually, we want total compression in the knee and the hip and our body goes between the knees. Try to have a straight back for now because we're going to keep rounding and arching. It's going to be really tough in this position. You might even fall over, but that's okay. No one's watching. 
We're gonna exhale, reach forward, round as far as we can, separate the scapula. Pull back, inhale and try to arch. This is hard to do because of where our pelvis is sort of stuck on our thighs. Exhale, round it. Inhale, arch it. I like to use my arms to kind of push on my shins and knees to get a little bit of an arch. It's just barely an arch, but it's the same activation of the muscles. Exhale, round it. Head is down. Inhale, arch it. One more time. Exhale, round it. Tucking the tailbone, dropping the head, separating the scapula. Inhale, arch it, palms forward, push into those knees. And now relax, back to a regular yogi squat. Let's wiggle our feet in so our heels are touching and our toes are out. So a little bit of wiggle, trying to point the toes in opposite directions, knees in opposite direction. Really good stretch of these adductors, especially if you keep using the ball of the foot as like a fulcrum to turn the knees and the thighs out. If you can, test your balance and come up and maybe even push on those thighs upright, kind of like a kind of froggy style without being down on the mat. Maybe you're really cool and you drive the knees out as you put your hands in prayer. Maybe you have one to brace and push and switch, whatever works for you. This is a great stretch for these adductors and it keeps the pressure off the knees and the ankles. And frogs, sometimes there's so much external rotation on the knee that it, it bothers me. I find this a lot more useful. Let's hold it for three, two, one. We'll find a cross-legged position, however you want. Take your time. I'm gonna do a little hop from here. Let's stand up tall. Couple more cat-cows, rounding down. Inhaling up, lead with the chest. Exhale, rounding down. Inhale, lifting up. Stomach and chest forward, chin off the chest. One more, rounding down. Inhale, arching up. All right, let's hit the hips and a twist and then go out shopping or have a cold drink or eat some fruitcake or spin your dreidel, whatever your deal is. Right foot in front, or right thigh in front rather, pointing directly forward. Left ankle's gonna go over at least figure four style. This might be enough for you and then we're gonna lean into it. If you want a little more, stack up those knees and then lean into it. But either way, we're targeting the top hip. Should feel like a pigeon pose, we're just not down in pigeon. So if you can stack those knees and pull down on the feet, you might even hook your chin and just settle into it. Maybe you're like halfway there like this. Maybe you're way up here because your hips are tight. That's cool, as long as you're feeling the stretch. Remembering to breathe. Settle in. The stretch of the outside of the hip, this piriformis area can take a long time because it's a big joint and a big muscle. We'll add a couple more breaths as we kind of melt in. And then when you're ready, come up nice and easy. Leave that foot or drop it over for a twist. So the right elbow gonna go outside the left leg, up tall, hand is behind us to make sure our spine stays straight. And then we twist, looking back over the left shoulder. Try to look behind you with that right eye. It'll help get the cervical vertebrae involved in the twist. Every time you inhale, get a little tall. Every time you exhale, twist a little more. For three, two, one, switch it out. Opposite leg over. If you're with me, that should be the right. If not, just do the other side. Left thigh points forward. Right leg comes over. Just maybe just figure four, maybe halfway. Maybe you're a hot shot and you can really stack those knees. Either way, bring yourself forward to stretch that top hip. Exhaling as you settle in and sink and melt. When you're folded over like this, sometimes your breath gets a little choppy. You have to learn to breathe more out of the chest than out of the stomach. Settling in, 
breathing and melting. Try not to come off of your buns too much just to get low. If you feel like your hip is high, maybe back out a little to make sure you're getting the stretch. Yoga has kind of become a performance art, but it should be more about how you feel than how you look. And when you're even on both sides, come up nice and easy. Either drag that foot into place or drop it over. Right knee is upright, left elbow comes over to hook. Straighten the spine, right hand back to keep that spine straight. And then a twist of the whole back, lumbar, cervical, and thoracic. As we turn and try to see behind us with the left eye this time. Remembering to breathe. Every time you inhale, you're a little taller. Every time you exhale, you twist a little more. For three, and two, and one. All right, you did it. Among your really busy holiday season, you squeezed in a little bit of yoga. Let's go back to a cross-legged position, whichever one you like, hands on knees. One more cat and one more cow. Inhale, pull forward. Big breath, lead with the chest, shoulders back, scapula together, exhale, round down, drop the chin, separate the shoulder blades, and back upright. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is you do, enjoy your time with your family and be sure to squeeze in a little time for yoga because it'll make everything else so much better because you'll feel great and you'll be in a great mood. Namaste. But the whole point of the machine is to relieve you of that suffering.